Hey guys, if you want a way to grow your hair with a potent hair growth oil that will give you thick hair and dense hair, stick to this channel. I'm going to show you a recipe. So in this video, we are doing a potent rosemary hair growth oil. You all know how powerful rosemary is. Rosemary has been proved to promote hair growth. So you can use the dry rosemary or the fresh ones. But in this video, we are using the dry rosemary. We are using about two tablespoons of dry rosemary leaves. Our next ingredient is oregano leaves. This is very optional, but if you have it in your hair growth oil, it's going to help you promote hair growth and thickness. So let's start with our hair growth oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. If you don't have extra virgin olive oil, you can use ordinary olive oil or you can use coconut oil depending on the oil you have available. You can even use sunflower oil or any hair oil you have available. I then pour in my rosemary leaves into the oil and make sure that I spread it throughout the oil. The purpose here is for the oil to be infused with the herbs. Like you need to infuse the herbs very, very well into the oil because it's the oil that we'll be needing. So it's important to use low heat, low medium heat, else you're going to have your oil burn. And when it burns, it means that you're missing out on all the good ingredients. So I just leave it in like what you are seeing in the video calmly for it to just boil gently not under any high heat so you have to be very careful here else you are going to burn your recipe so why am i using rosemary oil rosemary is a very potent herb like if you are looking for a way to grow your hair from bald please try using rosemary leaves you can either use the dry ones or you can use just the fresh ones usually i haven't seen the fresh one physical before it's only the dry ones that i get so rosemary oil can strengthen your hair very very well like if your hair is breaking if you really don't know what to do and your hair is breaking try using rosemary oil rosemary promotes blood circulation and improves blood supply to your hair follicles it also prevents them from being deprived of essential supply our next ingredient is oregano like oregano is very optional but my dear is very very powerful for hair growth if you want to grow your hair very very quickly please use oregano oregano is a very potent herb oregano doesn't only help treat scalp conditions it also promotes blood circulation which is critical to the health of the roots of your hair you know that hair growth starts from the scalp so if you don't have a healthy scalp you know that you are going to have issues with hair you can see me stirring it consistently because i don't want it to get burned so right from here i allow it to cool down for about 15 minutes and then strain it you can see in this video i just did a little like for myself and also i just wanted to teach you this powerful ingredient so i really didn't need much because i have enough oil around i mean available so when you strain it you are going to allow it to settle a bit this is in a bit hot so you can see that it's light when it rests for a while it becomes a bit thicker than it originally was yeah that was my observation and i prefer to use it when it is cold unless i want to do hot oil treatment but then if i want to use my normal application i like to prefer to use it when it is cold or when it has cooled down so now let's go to application process this is my hair like you can see how thick and dense my hair has become my natural hair is in its second year and i cannot really stress on the fact that natural ingredients really really help promote hair growth like i really really like the fact that i introduce herbs to my hair so i'm just using i'm just moisturizing my hair with rosemary water which video is also on this channel and then going up with the rosemary oil that i made and you should try that this is going to help you battle your scalp conditions like if you've been following me for a while you know that i complained that i have recently started developing dandruff and dandruff is mysterious so you don't have to be scared when you start developing it you should just have to start looking for ways and means to manage it so i spray in my rosemary water onto the hair it's important to spray your hair with water or herbs infused spray before going in with an oil so that your hair will be able to absorb the oil better if you just go in with the oil the oil may just sit on the surface of your hair but when you spray in with water or herbs infused spray it's able to moisten the hair a bit before you follow up with an oil right from the applying the oil onto the root of my hair or onto my scalp i then give myself a good 
twist you know i also take advantage of this to moisturize my hair this is a moisture routine so i take advantage of this to moisturize my hair that is dry that hasn't been moisturized for a while and this is a good opportunity for me to take care of my hair so using rosemary spray and rosemary oil is a good way to moisturize my hair so you can do this every day depending on your hair porosity because my hair is highly porous i can spray rosemary water and rosemary oil on it every day every blessed day and it also depends on how often you wash your hair if you don't wash your hair often i don't recommend using this every day else it's going to clog your pores so if you wash your hair often then you can be using this every other day so often i say maybe once a week or twice a week you can be using this on your hair every day and also you should study your hair does it clog often or you are as soon as you apply it doesn't keep long and then everything dries off so when you steady your hair you know how it works for you natural hair is really about studying what works for you there are so many options on the internet but then if you decide to try all of them you are going to waste your time money and eventually lose your hair so just study what works for you and then stick with it so i also do well to massage my hair so that the scalp is well stimulated like you know it is a bit heated before i go in with the oil and i also try to twist my ends because i don't want my ends to you know break off easily so when i am done i just wrap it around my hair a bit it is very very optional so guys this is how i moisturize my hair with rosemary i use rosemary as an oil and i decided to add a bit of oregano leaves just to spice it up a bit and i really super love this treatment it is really really a must try if you haven't tried it before please try it and you will never regret it if you want to see rosemary's potential try using it consistently for like I mean, if you can use a whole year paying attention to one particular hair, that's rosemary. You're going to see a lot of progress on your hair. It's going to thicken your hair. It's going to reduce breakage. It's going to reduce hair shedding. Like, it's really, really going to do a lot for you. So then, here comes the end of the video. I hope you like this video and I hope you have learned something from this video. I did it all to, throughout my hair, but I didn't record that part. I had to do it off camera and then yeah that was it so my name is lydia once again if you are new to the channel please do well to subscribe if you're already on the channel thank you so much for passing by and watching this powerful remedy for your natural hair some people ask me if you can use this on your perm hair you can use the oil on your perm hair but the water is a problem if you spray your perm hair you may have a negative reaction so i advise you use only the oil for your scalp don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to comment if you like this video. Till next time, bye!